everyone, I'm Pisanakin and welcome to this video. Uh, today I want to show you my resource pack, Groovy, which I'm using right now. Um, this resource pack is a variation of the vanilla resource pack which adds um, more details to all the textures. So right here you can see the cobblestone having like extra depth and also reflecting the moon's uh, light a little bit. Uh, the planks have the same thing going on and uh, there's also things like emissive textures for the fire over here, the torches, so you can see they become more bright. So let's get started with installing the resource pack. Alright, so the first step that you want to do is to download and install Optifine. You can do this at optifine.net and the link will be in the description for this. So go to downloads and then <coughs> download the version for Minecraft that you want. So I'm gonna download for 1.16.5. You want to make sure that this version is installed on your computer. So then click download and click skip and then click download again and then the file will download and you can open it once it's uh, finished with downloading. So the installer has opened and all we need to do right now is click install and once we do that then after a few seconds Optifine will be successfully installed. So now if we open the launcher and then click right here on the version you will see that Optifine has been successfully installed and we can play this version. Alright, so the next thing that you want to download and install is the shader pack which is called Complementary Shader. Uh, this is a shader pack that is based on DSL but it adds a few more tweaks and improvements. So this is what I uh, have as the preferred shader pack to use together with the Groovy resource pack. So to download it you just have to press the download button and it will start downloading after 5 seconds. So in the meantime we can go to Minecraft and click options, then click video settings and shaders and then finally shaders folder. This is the folder where all of your shader packs will be installed so we can install this shader pack right here. So open the file that you downloaded and then you want to find the zip file that is called complementary shaders. You can in, uh, ignore the resources. So just drag this in and that's it. Now once you have dragged the file in, you want to create the settings file for it. So you can just create a new text document and then you want to name this file exactly as uh, the other file was named, including the .zip. So that means I will call it complementary shaders underscore 3.10.zip enter. So when you have this, um, then it should be done correctly. So you want to change uh, the version number if you have a different version than I do. And then when you open this, uh, you basically want to import all the, the settings um, that you can find in the other link uh, in the description. So I have the content for it right here. So what you want to do is just select the top, scroll down to the bottom and then press Ctrl C or just copy the text. And then in this file, you want to paste it and then save it. So this will copy all of the settings uh, for the shader pack as well. And now the shader pack has been installed. So that's step two done. All right, so the final thing that you want to install is Groovy itself, my resource pack, which you can find on Planet Minecraft. And this link is also in the description. So um, when you are on the page, basically scroll, scroll down until you see download texture pack. Then you click this and it will download. So once you're in Minecraft, you want to open the resource pack this time and then click open pack folder. And then here uh, you can basically just drag and drop it into the resource pack folder like I'm doing right now. Um, but another thing that you can do is once you have it here, you can right click and then um, extract to groovy v4 that will also work doesn't really make a difference so yeah just do whatever you like so once you have installed both the resource pack and the shader pack you want to enable both in minecraft so um, the resource pack that i just installed is called groovy v4 so that's this one so you want to look for that one and then enable it probably at the top of the the list like this and uh, that's the first step the second step is also enabling the shader pack. So th this will automatically be enabled with all of the settings that we already uh, configured for it. But if you want, you can tweak the settings a bit more to how you personally prefer. 
So um, open the shaders menu and then basically make sure that this option is selected and then press done. That should be it. So once you have everything installed, your game should be looking something like this. So if you have any questions or any issues that happen during this process, please leave a comment and then I will try to reach out to you as soon as possible to help you. Um, otherwise, please let me know what you think of these textures and uh, give me any suggestions that you have to improve it. And I'm curious to hear from you guys. So that's it for now and I will see you guys next time.